Hello, this is Vince Lara in the College of Applied Health Sciences at the University of Illinois. Today I spent a few minutes with Daniel Romanchuk, 2016 Paralympian who's training at Illinois for a spot in the 2020 Games in Tokyo. All right, I'm speaking with Daniel Romanchuk, who is a 2020 Paralympic trainee, hoping to make the team for the Tokyo Games. So Daniel, you started with the Bennett Blazers. But I want to go back a little bit before that. When did you know that sports was something you wanted to do? Ooh. I've really just... So I started with the Bennett Blazers when I was two years old. Mm. And so I kind of... The, sports has always just been a part of my life. Um, so I'm not sure if there was ever really a, a moment where I was like, oh, I want, I want to, to play sports. I got, uh, I got started in wheelchair racing with the Bennett Blazers mm-hmm. when I was, I believe, around four years old. Wow. Uh, and so, yeah, I've just been, uh, a lot of it is just, um, with, with that program, a lot of kids just tried everything. Mm-hmm. You know, you didn't have to really stay in anything, but you just, you'd try it to see if you'd like it and uh, kind of just go from there. Uh, if you you know liked it, you'd, of course you can stay in it. And um, also, I think a, a little bit with your, your question, uh, their, their motto is actually uh, tell kids they can before they're told they can't. Wow, that's great. Um, so um, that's just, you know, we're athletes. And so, you know, there's never really been to me, I've never, you know, oh, well, I can't play basketball. I can't do this. Um, there's really never been any of that, uh, really, in, in my life. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which is great. Um, you're, you're from Maryland, yep. which is where the Bennett Blazers are located. Yep. So, but how did you end up at, at Illinois, training here at Illinois? And, and is it a testament, a testament to Coach Blakeney that you ended up here? Had you known about Coach Blakeney before, you know, getting here? So, yeah, so I grew up in Mount Airy, Maryland, mm-hmm. about a uh, half hour outside of Baltimore, where the sports program was from, mm-hmm. uh, located. And then uh, it was just over four years ago, I think, that um, I was training all on my own, and I basically had, uh, um, we'd eventually gotten in contact. We had uh, looked, or we'd asked the, I believe, the high performance director at that time. Um, kind of, you know, are there any training um, facilities or anything that I maybe can go train at? Because I wanted to try and make the twenty twenty or the twenty sixteen games. Mm-hmm. Um, and so a- after uh, you know them kind of looking around a bit, we got put in contact with Adam Bleakney, and so uh, he had uh, let me come out and train um, uh, first, kind of intermittently. Uh, um, and then we moved out here. Wow. Um, what when you say you were training on your own? Like, how did you even know how to train? Um, who? I'd say my mom did a lot of that. Oh wow. Um, so uh, yeah, we would just basically go out to there was a cul-de-sac um, that I would just do repeats on. It, it was mm. a slight hill. And so I just go out, do repeats of about 200 meters long, and then uh, eventually just going out on the road. Um, just, I, I would just kind of push. I really mm. didn't, I especially did not know any training methods. Right. Didn't know anything about tapering right. or any of the phases or anything of training. And so we would just kind of go out on rides um, at that point. Had you watched the Paralympic Games and ha- is, is that what gave you the idea, oh, well, I need to do 200s or, or whatever training you had done on your own? I would say really it was kind of my mom that at that time was sort of guiding training. Hmm. Um, so, um, but uh, yeah, I had, uh, they are one of the very few uh, sports that I actually watch is, you know, the the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I don't remember what my first, you know, when I first watched it, but I do remember, you know, Beijing and uh, Tatiana McFadden, Josh George, and a number of other um, Paralympic uh, racers and, you know, other sports as well. Um, 
so a number of other athletes had come through the Bennett Blazers mm. uh, sports program, okay. and you know they had come back uh, at you know even after they're gone off to you know college or whatever, they would come back every once in a while to kind of just you know come back, of course uh, you know s say hi, and then just uh, help the next generation along. Uh, and so that's something I like to do when uh, when I can is to you know get back and uh, you know help uh, bring along the next generation. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say that the games were you know when I first saw the games that I wanted to go. I probably say I just kind of known about them you know through through other uh, you know older athletes and. Mm -hmm. I've always been one to just push myself to see how far can I go, how fast can I go, um, and I think a, a lot of this that just happened at such a young age. Mm -hmm. I I don't really remember too much of it. Okay, well, you spoke about Tatiana, and you spoke about giving back. So at, at this point, given your experience in the marathons that you've had and the 2016 games, do you feel of yourself as a mentor to some of your younger teammates? Because some of them are, you know, as young as 19, you know, let's say Alexa, uh, Halco. Um, so what, what kind of role do you see yourself in now while you're competing, but also as one of the more experienced members? I mean, it's, I think it's a, um, I have been very, uh, big word. Fortunate? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, to have, you know, older athletes and, you know, mentors, um, that have helped me get to where I am, mm -hmm. and so I, you know, I certainly want to um, help the any any uh, athlete, uh, you know, help and help them and uh, help them just reach uh, their potential. Mm -hmm. Now, you've competed in, in in several world majors of the marathon circuit, and and does that help? Does that training help you with the Paralympic Games, or do you consider them really kind of separate? Uh, so they're. Um, as far as the the marathon at the games, that certainly does sure. um, does help because you'll you'll see a lot of the same racers. Um, courses, uh, of course, uh, vary, um, but I would say it does with uh, does help with the marathon. You, you're you're also now training for Dubai. Is that is that a jump a springboard also for 2020? Uh, so that is um, that is yep the the last world championships uh, just lead it, leading into the games mm -hmm. and so um, that does have a lot of things to do with the games mm -hmm. uh, slots can be earned for you know the the country um, at the world championships um, I believe if there's a if you end up in a, in a medal spot uh, you earn a spot. Um, so it uh, certainly is a, a big event going into uh, the 2020. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, you, you've talked about potentially enrolling at Illinois, maybe 2020, 2021. What do you think comes after sport for you? Certainly like to stay in the sport uh, to whatever degree, mm -hmm. um, you know, as long as I can. Um, one thing I've learned, uh, in, in racing and just otherwise is I don't know what God has planned for me <laughs> and so yeah. you know I I try and not to uh, to make a plan too much and to hold too tightly to it because mm -hmm. uh, you know I, I can make a plan for a marathon and it chances are it's going to fall apart somewhere along the way so um, not sure you know, where I'll end up, mm -hmm. but I'd certainly like to stay in the sport. My thanks to Daniel Romanchuk. This has been A Few Minutes With.